by Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. Why call on the gods when you have one of their messengers at your service? How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. a bad reputation, but it wasn't always that way. We used to be safe. Until the monger. We're not sure why he came here, but Corinth is worse off because of him. Uh. the boat our client described. Please, get her back safely. Welcome back! There's a message for you on the board. Came from the Demos Islands. One of the cultists is there, Alexios. His name is Podarkis. You reading my messages, Varnavas? I may have taken a peek. You've discovered something, Alexios. The cult, Herodotus. They're worse than we thought. What do you mean? In Argolis, I found this woman, a priestess, who stole my sister Cassandra away from my mother a long time ago. That same priestess was getting ready to take down the physician who's practice for his rat to use. She can't. And she won't. There are so many others that are like me. Everywhere. Which side? Did you find what you were looking for in Athens? A few clues, but this won't be easy. Well, it's a good start. All we can do now. Get the oars ready! We need to fire! 
My boat, pirate. Put the knife away. I'm a friend. What do you mean? Your friend Irina hired me to save you from these men and bring you back. Irina? I commissioned that ship to steal me away from Corinth. You're escaping? From what? You have no idea what the monger does to people. The things I've seen, no one in Corinth is safe. The Greek world is being ravaged by war. You're no safer on these seas than you are in Corinth. Mistios, please. We were heading to Mykonos, which is safe. If you'll take me there, I can pay you the toll I would have paid my crew. All right, I'll get you there. Next time my crew docks at Mykonos, you can depart. In the meantime, welcome aboard. Thank you, Mistios. This is what's best, I promise. Where is Cleo? Your friend is safe. That's what matters. So, she's really gone? She's not coming back. No. Thank you. I'll let Anthusa know. Guess I'll be alone at prayer tomorrow. You promise she's safe? You have my word.
This is the place. Time to burn some cargo. Just let like you... Please! Help! Shit! Got to smother it! like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse? I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Alexios. I'd thank you too if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too. An old Spartan tactic? Hmm. I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Atera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger. We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the monger rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try... is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. By the time I leave Corinthia, the monger will be dead. Do that, and Sparta will be in your debt. I was Spartan once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Aegetos as a child and left for dead. You're the son of General Nicolaus? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are... ...alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. 
those of good character will forgive and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Merini. And the only way is through Anthusa. Yes, Merini. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. Uh, they couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Dracidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. Go! Your plan seemed to work. The Monger thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the Monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Vrasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the Monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I'm with you. We'll put on a show. Meet me and my girls there. The public has no idea what spectacle they're about to witness. Ah! Until next time.
You wanted the fucking show? I wanted you to see the face of every person you've wronged. I'll cover their faces with that precious blood of yours. Just like I should have done with Mirini. You'll never rule these streets, you pig. Oh, you bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof. You... you knew my mother? She was big fucking trouble, but I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Not if I bring her yours first. They won't have much to say after I smash your brains all over the stage. Get the fuck off my streets! They're not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets! You're going to fight me! Here we go! go. fucking People of Corinth, behold the weasel that steals your bread, the scourge that spoils your crops. You've waited long enough to get your hands on him. The pleasure is all mine. Better. I have been starving for this. He deserved all of it. And you deserve your answers. Come, let's speak in private. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Song. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her.
don't see any soldiers here. Only pirates. They must be running the whole island. Have mercy. You want mercy? Ah! Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Alexios. Well, Alexios, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Alexios. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia's the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Here, take your that me. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need, how long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling, my purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finikas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Phoenicas. There have to be people who know that name. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia.
new day in Greece. Alexios, you're back. Gotta run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at the Spasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Aspasia. Oh, Alexios. You've returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother, her name, her ship. Alexios, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight this sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Alexios. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses is no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people... Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. 
It's not the gods' fault. It's the world. It's turned upside down. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Alexios. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. Sailors like you. Join us. This looks like the place. By the gods, what happened here? Limos must be carrying through on her threat. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. This was savage. Done to send a message. Ah, you're hey, 
Stop! Phoebe! Mother of all, I greet you. Amigos. Alexios! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me what Aspasia is! Alexios! <sighs> I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with him. I agree, my friend, I agree. There you are, Alexios. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe was killed by cult guards before I could get to her. Oh, no. Dear Phoebe. She died alone in the street. No, you found her. She wasn't alone. I know how much of a friend she was to you. I won't let them get away with this. You have to fight. For her. Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles. Go! Stay out of my way. Not another step! is lost now. 
He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave. Don't let them go! It's all clear now. Let's go. We're going to stay, Alexios. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. The city has been taken. This isn't the Athens you used to know. That is why I must stay. We must begin again. You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Alexios. I expect to see you both again. Alive! The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Alexios. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough. And they struck when the time was right. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. That time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a headache? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. 